I feel like a failure in my life. Then you need to read this. Here's what to do if you feel like a failure. Let's get into it. Ooh. Have you ever felt like a failure after scrolling on social media and seeing somebody that is significantly younger than you achieve so much more than you ever did in your whole life? They have everything you have ever wanted. Success, money, respect and power. They live in your dream house, they drive your dream car and they are collaborating with brands that you couldn't even imagine. In the beginning, it was all about admiring them and taking them as an inspiration and being motivated by seeing them. You start to follow them on social media. You start to check their content and you follow them daily. Since they motivate you in a good way, you start to work harder and harder so that you maybe one day can have what they have. But after a while, you start to realise that those results won't show up and maybe you are getting small itty bitty results but when you compare it to them, it's nothing like their success. You start to compare your achievements to theirs and you see a significant difference between you and them. You might start to feel jealous or you might start to feel like a failure or you might even start to feel left behind in life entirely. I'm sorry to tell you, but if you have this mindset right now, you are likely to fail. I'm going to explain in this video why and how to change your mindset. This video is probably going to be the most important video that I have ever made. So I beg of you, watch this to the very end. Society puts a lot of pressure on us to be consistently successful. We must know what to do with our life, even if we are very young. We have to know what to do and who to contact and the exact action plan. But... When talking realistically about this circumstance, it's completely normal for you to not know what to do next. Everybody has moments in their life that they feel lost and left behind. Maybe not even a few moments, maybe even a decade. And that's completely normal, no matter what anyone says. When talking about the pressure the society puts on us to be constantly successful, let's start from what is success? How do we define success? What is the meaning of being successful? In most cases, being successful means that you're achieving your dreams, goals, having money, being respected by people who are around you and being good to society as a whole and enjoying your life to the fullest potential. When we start to compare ourselves to people who are so-called successful, we are likely to overlook two things, unfair advantages and the iceberg illusion. Let's talk about unfair advantages first. A little question. Do you believe that life is fair? Life is unfair, and I'm not the only one who thinks in this way. I'm a young, white, educated male. I got really, really lucky, and life isn't fair. Those are the words of Evan Spingle, the billionaire co-founder of Snapchat. If you look at his background, he literally had everything paved out just for him. He was using his unfair advantages and became successful in life. After hearing his background, you might think that, of course he's going to be successful. I don't have these unfair advantages. I can never be like him. Believe it or not, that is not true. In fact, there is a way for everyone to be successful. You might still be thinking that life is so unfair and it's going to never change. Yes, that's true. Life is always going to be unfair. We should always try and increase the amount of fairness in society. But when we think about humans, life is probably never going to be 100% flatline fair. How can we be successful in this unfair world? Please don't tell me you think that hard work is the one and only way to achieve success, because it's not. And it's time to change your mind on that. Success is not simply awarded to the hardest workers. It is awarded to those who develop and use their unfair advantages. This is a quote from the book Unfair Advantages. By unfair advantage, we do not mean an unethical or illegal advantage. An unfair advantage is a competitive upper hand and your set of unfair advantages that is unique to you and sometimes it's not earned or even worked for. Let's take a simple example from a social media influencer. Being pretty is a significant unfair advantage that you can use. It does not necessarily mean that if you don't fit into current beauty standards, you cannot be successful as an influencer or something. But if you're considered to be pretty, it's more likely for you to succeed because you have that unfair advantage. 
It's the same as being a tall basketball player. Of course, there are short basketball players that are very successful, but if you're tall, you have an unfair advantage in that area. Life isn't fair, but if you use the unfairness of life as an excuse to have a victim mindset, to stop yourself from striving to achieve your goals, to make your dreams a reality, then you're only shooting yourself in the foot. If you want to be successful in your life, you have to find your unfair advantages and you have to work the system instead. Oh, by the way, before you watch on, I want to give you some necessary tools to grow your income, net worth and financial confidence so you can stop pinching pennies and start counting dollars. My mission is to raise the financial education of as many people as possible. To do that, we've created a wide range of offerings to help people at all different stages in their journey of growing their income, wealth and financial confidence. What I'm going to offer you has been built on principles and not tricks and not gimmicks. So you can always come back to this. It's time for you to stop feeling jealous or cheering other people's success and start having your own. If you want to achieve true financial confidence and freedom, this is what your journey should look like in this exact order. Click the link in the description down below now to stop feeling like a failure and start feeling like a success. Now, how can you exactly do that? Actually, in the book Unfair Advantage, they explain the framework right here. These are the unfair advantages you can use in your life. M is money. Money is a capital that you have or that you can easily raise. I is intelligence and insight. Intelligence and insight include book smart, social smart and emotional intelligence as well as creativity. L is location and luck but also looks and because in today's world and some businesses it's important to have good looks. Location and luck are all about being in the right place at the right time. E is education and expertise. Education and expertise are both your formal schooling and your self-learning, which gives you an intellectual and technical know-how. S is status. Status is your social status, including your network and connections. It's your personal brand. In other words, how you're perceived. It also includes your inner status, which is your confidence and self-esteem. When listening to these, you might think like, I don't have any unfair advantages in my life. But first thing first, that is impossible because everything can be your unfair advantage. There are just the main things that you can consider as unfair advantages. But if you look at your know-how to create and use your unfair advantages, everything can be your unfair advantage. But the first thing is unfair advantages are double-edged swords. If you know how to use them, it can benefit and be life-changing for you. But if you don't know how to use them, it can also damage your life too. The other thing that people overlook is the iceberg illusion. Everyone sees the success someone has, which is at the little tip of the iceberg, but they do not see all the stages of mistakes, persistence and failures, which is on the lower half of the iceberg, under the water. We do not see what people go through to achieve their success, which are the stages of a personal growth mindset. Let me give you an example from Dan Lok. Dan Lok was born in China, he was a troublemaker when he was a child. He always had money available since his dad ran a successful business at the time. However, his mum and dad had a divorce and Dan Lok and his mum had to migrate to a poor neighbourhood. They were still receiving money for, you know, basic living needs. However, Dan Lok heard his mum crying on the floor. Dan Lok asked, mum, what's wrong? And his mum replied, your dad just told me that he went bankrupt. He can't send us money anymore. We are on our own. For the first time, they were completely hopeless. He then started to hustle, work hard and take school very seriously, going to the library and reading every single day. He did any kind of little side hustle you could possibly think of just to make a few dollars. However, another major issue occurred. His business ideas were absolute disasters. He would borrow money from whoever he could until he had failed at 13 different businesses ideas. And what's even worse is that he was now $150,000 in debt. Oh, did I also mention that he dropped out of college too? However, he was still spending money to go to seminars and educate himself. And shortly after, he met his mentor, Alan Jakes. Long story short, his life massively skyrocketed from that time forward. Now. Does that story sound like he was a spoiled rich kid, silver spoon child, who had all his success hand to him on the silver platter? Mm-mm, I think not. Maybe in your current life, 
you're only seeing the tip of the iceberg and maybe you don't know the bottom of the iceberg that people struggled or maybe you didn't know anything about unfair advantages and maybe you didn't know how to use your unfair advantages and that's completely normal. But I hope you can change your mindset in this way and start to work on yourself because you can create unfair advantages and you can use your unfair advantages and maximize success in life. The last thing that I want to say is never give up on your dreams. Don't only work hard, but work smart. But wait, before you go, I want to give you some necessary tools to grow your income, net worth and financial competence so you can stop pinching pennies and start counting some serious dollars. My mission is to raise the financial education of as many people as possible. To do that, we've created a wide range of offerings to help people at all different stages in their journey of growing their income, wealth and financial confidence. What I'm going to offer you has been built on principles, not tricks and not gimmicks, so you can always come back to this when you need it. It's time that you stop feeling jealous or cheering for other people's success and start having it for yourself. If you want to achieve true financial confidence and freedom, this is what your journey should look like in this exact order. Click the link in description right now to stop feeling like a failure and start being a success. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.